called me their greatest surprise. And boy, there sure were. Superman has been around for ages, but writers continuously find new ways to reinvigorate the story. Now, Superman is back on our screens. This time, he has already married Lois, and they have two sons, twins. The new series is centered around Superman as a father and how their family dynamics are affected by him being an alien and Superman. The Superman and Lois TV show, everything you need to know. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The Origin Story in the new CW show, Superman and Lois show us the whole origin story in minutes. It is basically a recap of his life for us to better understand where the show is starting. Call el or Superman as we know him, was sent to Earth by his parents in a small spaceship moments before their planet Krypton was destroyed. His stroller spaceship crash-landed on the farm of Martha and Jonathan Kent. They hid his spaceship in their barn and hid his real identity from the world. Clark Kent, his Earth name, wanted to stay in Smallville, where his spacecraft landed, but the death of his father changed things and he ended up in Metropolis, where he found his identity as Superman. Working at the Daily Planet as an average reporter, he fell in love with super reporter Lois Lane. Later he reveals who he really is after they had fallen in love. They end up getting married and had twin boys together. Jonathan is a happy child who sees the good in life and is a ray of sunshine, but Jordan is a troubled child who sees the world as a bad place. The first episode of this new series. This section of the video contains spoilers, so Skip to the second part if you still have to watch the first episode. In the opening scene of Superman and Lois, Superman saves Metropolis from a nuclear meltdown. General Samuel Lane, Lois's father, relies heavily on Superman to save Metropolis from disasters. He sees it as Superman's duty, just like his duty as a soldier. Later in the episode, he says to Lois, You may have fallen in love with Clark Kent, but you married Superman. And Superman doesn't get to have a normal life, no matter how much you want one for him or yourself. It's obvious he and Lois are going to clash more than once in this regard in the upcoming series. In the next scene, Superman arrives home. Lois fills him in on what has happened in the household while he was gone. The news includes the fact that Jonathan has been chosen as a quarterback as a freshman in one of the most competitive high schools around. Clark says that does not mean he has superpowers, to which Lois reminds him, have you seen him throw a deep route? Clark is afraid that Jonathan has special powers and Jordan does not. Things are not great between Clark and Jordan, and Clark is afraid that if Jonathan has superpowers and Jordan does not, that fact will make Jordan feel inferior and drive an even deeper wedge in between him and Jordan. He goes to Jonathan's room to see what he is doing and finds him FaceTiming with a girl. He congratulates him on his selection as quarterback and goes to Jordan's room where loud death metal music is playing. He finds Jordan playing a game in which he's fighting Superman. At this stage, Jordan and Jonathan do not know that their father is actually Superman. Clark thinks Jordan is playing Superman in the game and says, Wow, uh, you make a pretty good Superman. Jordan replies, Superman's boring. I'm Raiden. The next day at breakfast, we find out Lois has been trying to get some time to persuade Clark to tell his sons that he's Superman. But Clark is still convinced the news will drive him and Jordan further apart. Later at the office, Clark gets laid off because the new owner of the Daily Planet, Morgan Edge, played by Adam Rayner, has decided on cutbacks. And since Clark is just an average reporter, he has to go. During this first episode, Clark's mother dies. It's obviously a big issue for the Man of Steel. And in the next scene, they attend her funeral. After the funeral, at the Kent farm, Clark's old flame, Lana Lane, played by Emmanuel Shrieky, shows up with her daughter Sarah and husband Kyle, played by Indy Navarrete and Eric Valdez, respectively. They are there to pay their respects, but there is friction. Kyle is the fire chief and does not respect people like Clark who lives in Smallville, get degrees and do not return to help the community. He's thankful for people like Morgan Edge for offering a lifeline to Smallville, which is partly reliant on the coal industry. Lois reminds Kyle that Morgan is single-handedly destroying the Daily Planet. Edge's companies prey on struggling communities. He breaks up unions and then he barely pays people a living wage. Kyle has made up his mind about Edge and finds a way to rebuff all Lois's points, based on his emotional state, not on facts. Meanwhile, the twins and Sarah go to the barn, and there is an accident where Jordan falls. Then a bunch of steel pipes come loose and are about to fall onto Jordan. Jonathan shields his brother, and they survive with light concussions, where they should actually have died or been seriously injured. In another scene, Clark and Lois go to see Lana Lane at the bank, where she reveals that Martha had taken out a reverse mortgage on her farm to help another family. Clark can either pay off the loan or sell the farm. The episode ends with three incredibly significant events. Firstly, 
Clark reveals his identity to his sons after they discover his spacecraft in the barn. Jordan is upset that his father had always lied to him. The other event is when at an outdoor party, Jordan tries to kiss Sarah and is attacked by her boyfriend, who for some reason she never mentioned to Jordan, and who was not present until the moment Jordan tried to kiss Sarah. Jonathan comes to his brother's aid and ends up having the living daylights beaten out of him. This scene ends where Jordan's eyes become red and he shoots rays from them, which causes a small explosion and we see attackers flying. The most significant event in the final episode is that Superman has gotten into a fight with the person who is sabotaging the nuclear plants. This individual is wearing a suit which keeps him a step ahead of Superman throughout the whole fight. The final moment shows the two fighting in space and the strange villain stabbing Superman with a piece of kryptonite. The episode ends with Superman falling towards Earth in slow motion. With that cliffhanger, what does the rest of the season have in store for us? This is part of the Arrowverse. Because Superman and Lois is part of the Arrowverse, we can expect a number of crossover episodes from The Flash and Supergirl. And the Arrowverse also includes Arrow, Black Lightning, Batwoman, Swamp Thing, Stargirl, and Legends of Tomorrow. It is probably less likely that the shows other than The Flash and Supergirl will have significant crossovers. The fact that there are crossovers might mean that Melissa Benoist will keep gracing our screens as Supergirl since the series Supergirl is coming to an end. Since The Flash is the most popular Arrowverse show, it's quite likely that we will see more of Barry. Who will carry the series? Tyler Hoechlin as Superman and Elizabeth Tulloch as Lois Lane did not really impress in the first episode as far as we are concerned. Their performances were a bit flat with weak dialogue. That may be a casting mistake, or it may be on purpose. We suspect that the twins will carry the series as they are much more interesting. The boys seem to have a good relationship as siblings, and that is usually a good indication of a winning formula. Their relationship may be negatively affected at first, especially since Jordan sees his brother as less intelligent than him, and Jonathan sees Jordan as somebody who is weak and needs protecting. We are also intrigued by Sarah Cushing, and hope to see more of her and Jordan. The Antagonists It is obvious that Morgan Edge will be the main antagonist, but in all Arrowverse series, bad guys show up regularly in episodes and are either defeated or hang around for more episodes. We will still need to find out what happens to the mysterious mechanical suit man who seems to seriously hurt Superman in the final scene of episode 1. Is it possible that Supergirl or the Flash Ash will save him? Jonathan is starting his time at his new high school as the new kid, who is still a freshman, but who has been chosen above some seniors to be the team quarterback. He is sure to have enemies in the form of the previous quarterback, whose place he has taken and that boy's friends. Jordan will probably have enemies in the form of the boyfriend of Sarah, who might even be the school's former quarterback. It must also be kept in mind that in the scene where Jordan inadvertently uses his powers, a lot of videos were being filmed on cell phones. Those videos will end up on the internet and are bound to draw many baddies out of the woodwork. Jordan may himself become an antagonist considering his resentment and anger. Superman still has to save the world, and Lois has to expose Edge. One of the main threads in the series will be the friction caused by Superman always being off saving the world and not spending time with his family. This is sure to place enormous strain on his relationship with his sons, especially Jordan. Then Lois is sure to end up as a target herself, trying to expose Morgan Edge as good reporters like her tend to do. The new series will prove to be quite entertaining. I would give it a 6 or 7 out of 10 for expectation. The twins, Sarah, and the Arrowverse will surely keep us entertained and guessing. That's all for today. See you next time for another interesting video.